Hi everyone, Amy Chang here presenting our field study of Chronoscope, which explores both memory-oriented interactions with digital photos in and across time. Since camera was invented in the 19th century, photos have been one of the most important media that supports people to document and reflect on their lives. Ever since then, people started to accumulate photos. In recent decades, taking photos has become highly mediated by mobile devices and caused a huge increase in the number of photos. According to photo tutorial, 1.72 trillion photos were taken in 2022 alone, and 92.5% of the photos were taken with smartphones. This phenomenon has posed challenges in the HCI field because digital photos, as one of the most common digital possessions, are placeless, spaceless, and formless. People started to have difficulty knowing just how big their digital photo archive is. Some people even forget what's in their photos and just keep up interacting with them. To enrich a data-driven life, we need more alternative representations of data. Although there has been a small but emerging number of works in HCI that explore new ways for human-photo interactions, most of them have been focusing on people's interaction with a single photo or a small set of photos, instead of supporting them to reflect on memories throughout the entire digital photo archive. As a result, our research goal is to inquire into how making people's digital photos more materially present and interactive from different perspectives of time might open new reflective photo viewing experiences. To achieve this goal, we applied a slow technology framing to our design inquiries not because it aligns with our goal of creating technology to support reflection, but that it embraces technology to be a part of our lives over longer periods of time. This slow tech design strategy also supports us to view time differently. Interestingly, in every digital photo file, a standardized timestamp is always generated precisely at the moment a photo is taken. Using this information, we can actually work with time more diversely by reorganizing photos in different orders that could trigger people's reflection in and across time. With timestamp as a design resource, we adopted the research to design methodology and created Chronoscope for our field study. Chronoscope is a highly finished, tangible photo viewer that leverages the timestamp of each photo for people to re-experience their entire digital photo archive. To use the scope, simply just hold it up and peer inside. You will see a tiny display with a horizontally visualized photo collection. The top left corner shows the timestamp of the central photo. There are three rotational controls in Chronoscope. First, the primary rotation wheel controls the photo viewing directions. With this, you can navigate your viewing among the horizontal photo collection. When you rotate clockwisely, the view goes to the right. When you do it counterclockwisely, the view goes to the left. The second control is the bigger knob on the side of the scope. It lets the user toggle between three time frame modes, linear, date, and time. Each mode organizes the photos differently. The linear mode sorts photos in a chronological order. The date mode retrieves all the photos taken on the same month and day, regardless of the year. For example, you can see all the newer photos taken on January 1st throughout the years, and then after that the photos taken on January 2nd would appear. The time mode selects all the photos taken within a specific hour, such as 5 p.m., regardless of the date and year, and after that you would see photos taken at 6 p.m. The selected mode is indicated on the top right of the interface. <laughs> The third control lets its user tune the viewing granularity, which allows a faster or slower navigation during the photo viewing process. The number of viewing granularity can be seen at the bottom left corner. understand people's experiences of using chronoscopes in field, we batch produced four of them and deployed them in four households in Vancouver, BC, Canada for three months. A recorded and transcribed one-hour-long interview was conducted at the end of every deployment. We have a variety in the profiles of our four participants. We have Alice, a hotel supervisor, Clara, a pianist, Porter, a product photographer, and Beth, a graduate student in education. They all have thousands of photos in their chronoscope, syncing with their Google Photos or Dropbox account. Our study produced a range of rich findings, but here in this presentation, I can only offer a glimpse on the last two parts. Please read our paper if you find this work interesting. When it comes to the three modes, Linear lets the participants experience the whole life journey and changes in time. Clara, the pianist, said, 
I'm not focusing on myself anymore. It just happens naturally as time goes by. You just focus on yourself. You want to make yourself better, but then gradually you stand out to look at the world and want to look for many other things instead of just for yourself. I came across one picture of my recital many years ago, and I don't do recital anymore. But I still play piano, I still teach, I still do very similar things, but you know it's totally different now. Seeing that change through my photos showed how I present myself differently. In date mode, Porter experienced a flashback to each event on October 29th, which is his son's and wife's birthday. Those events were woven together as he saw a series of photos in labor room, birth of the baby, and lots of birthday celebration. He re-experienced the joy of becoming a father and how the happiness continues over time. As for Belle, the date mode showed her a lot of selfies, although she did not consider herself as someone who does it a lot. Those random shots of her and her partner made her value more on mundane moments. She said, it is those moments that we tend to forget makes it very worth tasting, which means to go back and recollect the nice little surprise. For Alice, she said that the date mode helped her avoid doing the same things and get some new ideas for event planning. Laura shared with us that time mode is like a game of guessing. It is more dynamic. It shows her daily patterns and real routines, such as her student's handshape evolved after years of piano practices. In terms of cumulative experiences, Clara described the value of being able to fast forward and slow down interaction pacing with the granularity knob. It enables her to see a huge part of life history in a short period of time. Being able to navigate in time flexibly created tremendous meaning for Porter. Here he shared a story. It has been a long time since I saw my parents together. We are a satellite family, which is a form of family where the primary income earner does not live in the same location. My dad visited us twice in 10 years. I saw this photo taken in 2016 before my wedding photo. It was before a milestone in life, and it reflects on how much my dad had sacrificed the family time to provide for us overseas. These pictures together mean to me that I want to be there for my kids and try to make family work. When the topic goes to passing down digital photos, Bill raised an interesting point. Imagine a scenario where you will have something that captures someone's life through time, and then being able to find and historicize times in their life. When I was a kid, my grandpa told me tons of stories about him being in the Civil War, before Taiwan became Taiwan, when he was still in China. And as a kid, I didn't appreciate that at all. I wish I could actually cherish those moments. But if he had something like Chronoscope that he could have handed off to me, I would give anything for it. All of the photos are clued together into the historical moment that we live in. Even though you are looking at someone's personal photos, the time modes give you just an idea of what's happening at the time from this person's positionality and identity, and how they experience time. And this has great potential for us to be able to tap into things that can change, like the way personal history does. Through our findings, we highlight implications, opportunities, and challenges that come with this emerging space for future FCI research and practice. Prior research has investigated people's experiences of revisiting one or a small set of photos. Our approach extends these works by making people interact with the entire photo archives as a whole, and allowing them to navigate unique pathways through multiple memories and life stages. These pathways are called journeys that let participants explore memories across their life experiences. From here, we see that by providing a context that situates each photo in time relationally with others, participants were able to creatively construct their autobiographical memories with an increased awareness of potential correlations between different life events. Chronoscope also triggered a provocative way of interpreting autobiographical memories. Through our study, temporal metadata was used as a memory cue to trigger a remembering process that brings more curiosity, anticipation, and reflection into the play. However, one limitation of using temporal metadata as a memory cue is that the timestamp format is finite and relatively inflexible, which may lead to potential issues such as integrating photos taken in different time zones and calendar systems. Chronoscope supports participants' relations with digital photos over time. It continually synchronizes the photos with Google Photos or Dropbox in order to represent the entirety of digital photo archive. This ongoing quality of change led to a continual reorganization and create a synthetic experience for a participant to increase their sense of ownership and to renew their interest in the digital photos as well. Collectively, our findings support the vision of slow technology. They opened a space to explore how interpreting a person's life history through their photo collection could offer unique pathways for reflection, and that change over time in an ongoing way into the future. That sums up the presentation. We really hope you can read our paper later as there are so many more interesting things in it. Thank you.